Oh, great. Thank you very much. Um, I'm Dan Espenson again, and um, I'm, um, I'm this person here. So. <laughs> Everyone else has all these PhDs and stuff, and I'm the inventor of, of, uh, of the group. Um, started in Benny a long time ago. And um, let's see here, let me see if I can there we go. Okay, I'm co-founder of a company called Touch Technologies back in 82. Also co-founded a company in, uh, called the Self-Resiliency Group. I'm an inventor of a bunch of patents. Um, if you've heard, everyone heard of Snowden, where he exposed the NSA's um, surveillance? That's my patent that was used for, as the basis for that. We did that in the early 90s. That's how long this has been going on. Um, after that, I did video surveillance on a massive survey. Everyone seen Person of Interest, that TV show? Ever seen that? All right, that's some stuff I did. And, <laughs> and, um, but now I'm very focused on what are called in, intelligent interventions. And here's the problem, is that early interventions are really the key to people being healthy. Okay? If you see a doctor, what, if you have some kind of pain, you don't see your doctor for a long time, that can have a worse outcome than if, you see your, than if you have the pain and you see your doctor instantly. But you can't see your doctor instantly because that's, the doctor can't be hanging around you. Okay. Doctors on the average, by the way, have 1,200 patients. That's the average in the US for one doctor, 1,200 patients. Okay. So, mobile solution to this problem. Okay. A way to do, uh, basically improve your health through um, intelligent interventions. And that's what we call this, intelligent interventions. So it's kind of like your doctor is walking along with you all the time. You got a doctor with you all the time, right? Wearable devices, who here has a wearable device on you? Come on, something, okay, good, okay. So I've got wearable device, see this one? Wearable device, right? Wearable device right here. And maybe some hidden wearable devices that you don't see, right? Who knows where those might be? And what the wearable devices allow, if you've tried one, is that they have feedback, they have information that goes from, I'll show this here, that goes from the wearable device to your smartphone, and then from your smartphone, you then get little indications of your weight and, you know, and various things that you've been doing, right? Okay. And that's all very cool, because it gives you information you never had before. But there's much, much more we can do with this, and this is where the moonshot sort of thing comes in. This is where the future comes on in, okay? There's a lot more you can do with these wearables. Let's take the wearables to the next level. Let's talk about what happens if you've got a wearable device, it's giving you information, right? And that information is then augmented with information from your doctor about your particular situation. And that information then causes what are called intelligent, inf intelligent um, interventions. What if that's how it works? What if that's the way this works? Oh, this went all by its lonesome. I guess it wants me to go to the next slide. All right. So we have a wearable device I'll show over here. Got your wearable devices right here. That data, as we know, goes down here to your smart device, your smartphone, whatever that happens to be. And then from there, We've designed a system that we're currently implementing that takes that data from your phone here, brings it over here into what's called an intelligent server. The job of the intelligent server is to take the data from your wearable device and add to it more information, more things than just the data that the device got. Is it knows things about you. It knows that you have asthma issues. It knows that you have say weight problems, it knows that you have hypertension, you know, you've got blood pressure issues. It knows things like that. So for me, if my heart rate's at a certain level, that might be okay. But for someone else, that might be really bad because of their situation. So in the case it's really bad, okay, the data goes from this intelligent server all the way back to your smart device and it tells you you've got a problem. For an example, it might buzz in your hand, it might take over your screen, and then tell you you've got a problem. Okay, and then, not just tell you you have a problem, but, and here's a solution that your physician worked out with you, you know, three weeks ago when you visited your physician. So it'll do that as well. Let's take a look. This is disturbing email. <laughs> 
<laughs> she didn't like that email, okay. So, previously the user self-prescribed some kind of um, stress intervention. They basically said, if my heart rate gets to this certain level, I've gotta remember that I've gotta calm down, take a breath, ever heard that? Take a breath, right, okay? But you never do it, do you? It's too late. You never do the take a breath. You remember later you should have taken a breath. So what if instead, read disturbing email, heart rate's really high, right? Buzz, 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 you look at it, okay? It says, take a breath, are you ready to do that? And you're like, yeah, let's do that. And then a video co comes on and a little video shows you, you know, go like this, you know, do your thing, you know, breathe out, you know, you're like, whoa, that really worked. Where before you would have never done that because it's too late. And the idea here, oh, that went off too. Asthma relief, this is a situation for with a physician. Okay, so you have a physician who knows that you've got asthma. They said, look, you've got asthma, you've got shortness of breath issues. When you have short, shortness of breath, you need to do something about it, like now. You need to do something now, or your asthma is gonna get much worse, you're gonna have a bad situation, you wanna stop it early. Who here has asthma? Anyone here have asthma? Okay, so you know it can be a problem. You don't know when it's really happening sometimes. You, you're into the cycle too far. So instead, the phone vibrates to get your attention. The screen switches to fill with intervention needed sort of information. Okay. Asks you if this is a good time for the intervention. It might be that you're in the middle of taking a final or something, right? some test or you're doing something else. You don't wanna do the intervention, but at least you know you've got some shortness of breath. If you say you would like the intervention, then you end up with some kind of activity that you and your physician have worked out some kind of thing where your physician has said, look, and you have you know, shortness of breath, these are what you need to do. This is the relaxation technique you should use, or this is what you should be using in case it's you know, some kind of pill you take or something else, whatever that happens to be. And then you can send that information to your doctor. Why would you do that? At the end, send the doctor the breathing information. You can elect to say, yes, I wanna do that, because next time I visit my doctor, wouldn't it be nice to know that I had 10 attacks since the last time I visited the doctor, where normally what happens, of course, you visit your doctor, how were you? Oh, you know, I was okay, I had a couple of issues, but you don't remember, I don't remember, I don't remember much about two weeks ago. That's a long time for me. So, so very helpful, right? Keeps track of all that logging for you. So, you need to be ready. Mobile health is about to change in a major, major, major way. I was at the, um, I think, Fry's Electronics recently, and I was very impressed that there was this little, um, they call it a, a corner display, it was like one of those little display things, you know, that had a bunch of little wearables on it. I thought, wow, that's a lot of wearables. That must be like 15, 20 wearables. And I asked the guy, I said, wow, that's a lot of wearables. And he goes, no, he said, that's just the end cap. These are the wearables, and there's this huge aisle full of wearables and wearables and wearables. We were at the Consumer Electronics Show recently, and the number of wearables there was 300 different manufacturers, 300. Okay, and it's only just starting. And very soon, wearables combined with intelligent interventions. This is, the, this is where we're going with it, the next level. Wearables combined with intelligent interventions will change your world in the most amazing ways. Thank you very much.